So how does one calculate reciprocals? Isn't that difficult? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and uh, reciprocals are often discussed in the same vein as fractions. And you and I both know that fractions aren't students' favorite subject in the world. But actually, reciprocals are actually a pretty straightforward idea once you understand what it actually is. Now, all the reciprocal is is a fraction flipped. Now, here's a couple of examples as to how that works. Now, suppose you have a fraction in the vein of 4 over 7. Now, the reciprocal is always going to be the fraction number flipped. And by design, when you multiply a number with its reciprocal, it's going to give you 1. So here's an example. Take the 4 over 7 and literally just flip the top and bottom numbers. So the reciprocal is going to be 7 over 4. Now, what about negative fractions? Suppose you have negative 3 over 10. What's the reciprocal of that? Well, again, just flip the fraction and keep the sign. So you'll have negative 10 over 3. Now, for both of these cases, if you multiply 4 sevenths and 7 fourths, or negative 3 over 10 times negative 10 thirds, you'll find out that's going to be 1. Now, what about whole numbers, like the number 3? Well, you can turn any whole number as that number over 1. And then, for the reciprocal, just flip it. So 3 over 1 flipped is going to be 1 third. The only number for which that does not have a reciprocal is 0, because the reciprocal of that gives you a 0 in the denominator, which is impossible because you cannot divide by 0. But that gives you an overview of this topic. And my name is Jimmy Chang, and that is how you calculate a reciprocal.